Hi guys, here's the next part of the low poly tree wind effect tutorial, in which I import an animated tree made with Blender into Unity. Here's the tree model with the armature in Blender 2.79, and I'm playing the wind effect animation that we created. If you enable only render, then the bones are hidden, and you can better see the animation. Now select the model and the armature. You can do this using the outliner, just hold the control key down, and then left click the icon of the tree wind object. Then I go ahead and export this as FBX. So I go to File, Export, FBX. And I use the following settings, selected objects only. And I export the armature and the mesh. The smoothing I set to face. And only deform bones and add leaf bones I keep unchecked and the rest are the default settings. Okay, now I export this directly into the meshes folder of my Unity project. And when I open the project in Unity now, the mesh should be visible. Yeah, here it is, tree, three, underscore wind. Okay, now what we have to configure in the importer is the material and the animation. So first let's assign the material for the low poly models that is already contained in the project and that I reuse here. And then I go to the animation tab and set the wind animation of the tree to a looping animation. Okay, now we can drag the tree wind model into the scene, like that. But the wind animation isn't played yet, we need an animator controller. But that's very easy, I just drag this wind animation onto the tree game object and then an animator controller is created. I will drag this into my animation folder just to keep it organized. And when I select the tree model, you can see that the animator controller is assigned. So double click to open it. And the wind animation is the default animation. If you like, you can change the speed. I'll leave the value at one. So that's it, now we can start. And the wind animation of the tree is played. Okay, that's nice, but we can optimize this a bit for our game kit. Open the prefabs folder and then just drag the game object into this folder. And what we have now is a fully configured low poly tree with a wind effect that you can reuse as you like. You just drag it into the scene. And then you can change the size or the rotation of the objects just to add some variations. In the next step, I will add more wind effects and a script to control which one is played and at which speed. Okay guys, that's it again. I will add animations like this to the other trees as well and then update my Unity Low Poly game kit. By the way, you can download this for free from the asset store. The link can be found in the description. If you want to support this game kit and my channel, please think about being my patron, this would really help a lot. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe and see you on JNM.